fast-growing energy drink company Celsius Holdings stock price is up over 4,800% in the last five years. So is it too late to buy Celsius stock? That's what I'm going to look at in this video. I'm going to review Celsius, review its longer term prospects, its valuation and what's going on over the next two years and answer if it's too late to buy Celsius stock. But before I get into the details, let me thank subscriber Ron Matthews and Trishel Hartman for requesting this video. If you would like me to do any video that you're interested in, please comment in the section below and I'll try to put it on my list of stocks to do a video on. So let's jump into this one. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. I mentioned already you can see 4,800% growth for Celsius stock. That's come in the last few years alone. Of course, this hasn't been without cause. Celsius's revenue has jumped from under 300 million in 2022 up to 1.149 billion in the trailing 12 months. Of course, this has been helped by investments from Pepsi, which helps with distribution and entry into these locations. It's not easy to get shelf space in these critical supermarkets, convenience stores, and on and on. And Pepsi helps Celsius gain access to those areas. Big grocery store chains and big store retailers don't like to give shelf space to newer companies because they haven't proven themselves yet. But the relationship with Pepsi gives these retailers trust that Celsius can handle the increase in demand, refilling inventory, logistics, fulfillment, and all of that, right? You've got to be really good at logistics if you want shelf space in a supermarket. These are fast moving items. You got to replenish that inventory. You got to serve it really well. They don't like to see that shelf space that's dedicated to your beverage remain empty, right? Grocery stores like you to be good at what you do. And the relationship with Pepsi gives it trust, gives it recognition, and that's helped Celsius gain access to more shelf space. It's also doing really well online. Its health benefits and its promised improvement in metabolism is really fueling results for Celsius. And that's all been a boom for revenue growth for Celsius. As you could see, explosive revenue expansion here from a beverage company. This is something you see from an AI stock or an AI company. So this is truly impressive to be sure. Perhaps more importantly, Celsius has used that revenue growth to boost profitability. It's not just growing revenue while generating losses on the bottom line. That would be a lot less impressive. No, Celsius is growing revenue and that revenue growth is helping it make progress on profitability. In the most recent trailing 12 month period, operating profit margin of 15.21% is the highest in its recent 10 year history. You can see it improving from negative 20% in mid 2022 all the way up now to 15.21%. And all expectations are that profits are only going to increase from here, not decrease, only increase from here. So this is just the beginning for Celsius. It's likely to move upward from here. And I can show you that in Wall Street analysts that are following Celsius stock, according to their forecast, it's expected to grow revenue by 39% in 2024, and then another 31% in 2025. For the bottom line, analysts expect Celsius to increase earnings per share by 27.5% in 2024 and then 40% in 2025. Like I mentioned earlier, the company's profits are only expected to expand from here. So solid prospects going forward for the next two years expected for Celsius. Not only is the company profitable on the bottom line, but it's also generating strong cash flow from operations. That metric improved to 6.38% in the most recent trailing 12 month period. That's up from a low of negative 30% and that's been falling recently. But when a company is growing as quickly as Celsius is, and it's in the business of selling physical things, in its case, beverages, it's okay to experience a decreasing or uh, declining or negative cash flow from operations because you're investing significant amounts in inventory. Remember, when you're a business and you're building up inventory, that's cash leaving, right? You're spending your cash 
to make that inventory. You're paying suppliers, you're paying distributors, you're paying, you're paying, you're paying while you're not yet getting the cash yet. So you're creating this product, you're getting it shipped to your distribution centers, and then you're sending it out, and then you're starting to sell it, and then you're starting to recover cash from your partners that maybe you give them terms 30 days to pay, 60 days to pay, 90 days to pay. And so that whole inventory turn cycle is a cash outflow for companies that are growing rapidly because you're spending more on growth, you're spending more on inventory that's coming in from past sales because your current period sales or your next period sales are expected to be larger than your previous period sales. So whatever cash you have coming in from prior sales is not at the level of your current period sales. So that's why when you're in growth mode, your cash flow is typically negative. And that's okay for companies that are selling physical things. Tech companies that are not selling physical goods, they don't experience this because they're not selling physical things. So they don't have to spend cash to create that inventory. That's not the case for companies like Celsius that are making physical goods and in their case, beverages. So a 6.38% margin is solid. I wouldn't be surprised if this moves higher over the next two years as its growth rate slows down. You noticed earlier I showed you the projections. Its growth rate is expected to slow down. It's not going to grow this quickly forever. The market is not growing this quickly. It's just that Celsius is gaining market share and its market share gains are going to stop eventually. They're going to slow down. And that's what Wall Street expects. 99% revenue growth in the year that ended December of 2023. That's expected to slow down to 38.8% in 2024. And then it's expected to slow down again to 31% in 2025. And I wouldn't be surprised if 26, 27, 28 is a continued deceleration of its revenue growth trend over the next few years as it gains larger scale, increases its market share, and reaches the limits of market share gains. And so then from that point on, it will grow at roughly the same rate as the industry, the energy drink, uh, healthy drink industry growth, which it is gaining market share overall. People are becoming more health conscious, choosing healthier beverages, over the less healthy sugary drinks of past times. And that's partly why PepsiCo was interested in investing in Celsius. It gives Pepsi a growth engine and it gives it some diversification from its sugary beverage focused uh, segment as well. So I always like it when I see a company in the same industry investing in another company in the same industry. It would be different if Celsius's strategic investor was somebody outside of the beverage industry. But when PepsiCo is investing in Celsius, that says a lot more because PepsiCo understands what it takes to succeed in this market and they're investing in Celsius. So that says it a lot. That's like a stamp of recognition saying that we agree, we like what they're doing. We think they're poised for success. All right, and finally, I wanna look at its valuation. Celsius is trading at a forward price to earnings of 39, which is not ridiculously expensive, which is surprising, right? You might think a stock that's gone up by nearly 5,000% in the last several years would be ridiculously expensive, but it's not because that stock price increase has come along with increases in revenue and profitability and cash flow. So it's been justified by the growth in the fundamental business prospects. It hasn't been growth on just hype alone. So all things considered, with this valuation, I don't think Celsius stock is expensive. I also don't think it's cheap. I think it's a relatively good value, just barely. Uh, I would have preferred if the stock was trading at a forward PE around 30, 32. Although it's still a good value here at 39. So if I was to say, is it too late to buy Celsius stock? No, I don't think so. I think the stock is still a buy even at current valuations given its excellent prospects for the next two to four years, given the recognition from Pepsi, given the increased market share, given the distribution advantages it's gaining through its relationship with Pepsi. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.